Mr. Speaker, in the last 10 years, this country has been told so many weird things that the time we are told that the IBC servers are based somewhere in France and they are mixed with some documents, so we can't access them. Mr. Speaker, last week we were told that e-citizen, which hosts government servers and documents, actually is actually banned by a private entity, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, we've had the minister concerned with interior visiting Shakahola, Shakahola in the last three months almost every week because of lapse in, sec in security, that things happen in this country on the nose of our agents and they just let them pass. Mr. Speaker, the queues at KICC didn't happen only yesterday. They've been there for four days in a row. You would ask what's happening there, no one would tell you what's happening there, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, we as a house have a duty to protect our citizens. And that's why we must, Mr. Speaker, demand from the ministers concerned. Because even as this happened, there was information that was conflicting. One minister says, this is legal, this is okay. Another one says, no, this is not okay. Mr. Speaker, we demand to know from the persons concerned that one, how many people who are Kenyans have so far, so far been scanned? Mr. Speaker, in Indonesia, an issue arose about WorldCoin. And you know, what was said was that one, they lie to you about getting your consent. Two, they lie to you about how much information they, they want to get from you. Number three, the speaker, they basically steal the consent because, like it's been said today, a person who is hungry, a person who doesn't know what's happening in the world, a person who, whose only interest tomorrow is to get a packet of hunger, is being told that you put your eyes here and you see when the shillings comes to the speaker. Where is our security agents? Where is the NIS? Where is the CID, Mr. Speaker? Before these kind of things happen, because as parliamentarians, we are not investigators. We don't investigate. We have set up institutions that are supposed to do this, Mr. Speaker, and therefore, I agree with those who are calling for, Mr. Speaker, a holistic, a holistic review of what has happened so far, because I believe that even the Office of the Data Protection Commissioner, Mr. Speaker, is complicit on this. So many guys are involved. The company registration offices, the Ministry of ICT, the Ministry of Interior, the persons involved in uh, protecting our information, Speaker, must be questioned, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, as I end, I want to know from the two ministers what remedial measures have they taken so far since this was discovered, apart from stopping this from happening? Have they confiscated their machines? Have they uh, closed their offices? What have they done to ensure that to assure members of this country that information they gave will not be used in a wrong manner? But, Mr. Speaker, finally, the ministers concerned, could they wake up and man up and run the ministries in the right way? Thank you. Chematia. Thank you so much, Mr. Speaker.